Afternoon, everybody. I guess just start off strong. Can you tell us who your goalie is? Uh, Shesty's in that tonight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was it? Your, your first regular season taste of what this rivalry is. Just what are you expecting from tonight? Uh, I would expect it to be a, a good hockey game. They're a good team. They're young. They're fast. Um, they've got skill. Um, they found finding uh, ways to be successful, certainly last year and into this year, so I expect it to be a good hockey game. What do you, what do you watch for early on coming off the layoff that you guys are coming off of? Anything that, that would be a good sign to you or a bad sign? You know, is there, or is it pretty much standard procedure? Uh, it'll just be standard procedure. I mean, I, I see things, whether we're on a layoff or we're not on a layoff. I can see when we're on point. I can see when we're slow to the, to the mark. Um, I really like the two practices that we had this week on Wednesday and Friday. I thought that they were really hard charging and competitive and fast, and so I just like to take that and transfer it through to today. So um, that's the that's the game plan, but that's always the game plan, so it doesn't change much. And I guess you just you call it how you see it when you're on the bench with regard to addressing your team. Especially box out. Do you look at having Keandre Miller, Jacob Truba, you know, as like a 1A, 1B, you know, two pairs like that? Do you have that in your back pocket? Um, you know, when I when I look at the defense now, and especially when we're healthy, I, I just view it as a really good pocket of defensemen. And I think that Jonesy's done and stepped in and done a really good job. He seems to be more confident as he plays more. You know, he's really skating well and he's moving the puck well. And so the you know, I, I feel fortunate to have a group of defensemen the way that we have it and without really any numbers or letters or um, certainly we want Adam back, you know, when, whenever that time comes, but these guys have done a good job. Unlike an all-star break where everybody's off, what, what are the challenges of playing for the first time in a week and your opposition's played twice in that span? There's, there's been, I'm sure there's been a whole bunch of things that have happened after four or five or six days off for a team. They've come out and laid an egg. They've come out and they've been full of energy. They've come out and won. They've come out and lost. Um, I can only go by the two practices that we did have. Um, you know, guys did get some rest, which is good. And um, we need to get right up to speed and right up to gear tonight. So um, everybody deals with it at some point through the course of the year. And so we just got to, we got to get going. We're, we're playing a team that I think, you know, you have that. It has your attention that you've got to be ready to play right off the bat. Is there any update on Phil at all? Uh, no, same. How about Fox? Has he started skating yet? Um, he has been on the ice, yes. And is having Mackey up just a precautionary thing? Yes, just just to make sure that um, you know we have enough players. Were you always confident that Igor would be ready for this game, or was it like did you need to see something yesterday? I think that there is a I think there's a process for him to. Uh, for anybody coming back from an injury to feel good about their game and to be cleared and to be healthy uh, and to feel good about their game and so this was something that we were thinking about but it wasn't we didn't take out a pen and circle and say this is the one he's coming back I think it was just a progression of days of days off a progression of days on the ice practices feeling better um, and so there's there's you know quite a bit that went into it.